St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Good morning. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution for three donor, from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Winnipeg, Manitoba, for the health and the well-being of the members of her family and for an end to the war in Afghanistan. The second is the Hayes family from Winnipeg, also in Manitoba. This Mass is being offered in thanksgiving for the many blessings of their family that they have received over the past year, and they pray for continued guidance throughout the year. The third is an anonymous donor from Grand Falls, Newfoundland, for the repose of the souls of loved ones. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered here for this Mass and this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we begin this Eucharist, let us pause, calling to mind our need for God's gracious mercy and, his, and ask for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Creator, our Father, Protector, without you, nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you've given to the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah cried out to the Lord, Woe is me, my mother, that you ever bore me, a man of strife and contention to the whole land. I have not lent, nor have I borrowed, yet all of them curse me. Your words were found, and I ate them, and your words became to me a joy and a delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. I did not sit in the company of Mary Makers, nor did I rejoice. Under the weight of your hand, I sat alone, for you had filled me with indignation. Why is my pain unceasing, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? Truly, you are to me like a deceitful brook, like waters that fail. Therefore, thus says the Lord, if you turn back, I will take you back, and you shall stand before me. If you utter what is precious and not what is worthless, you shall serve as my mouth. It is they who will turn to you, not you who will turn to them. And I will make you to this people a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail over you. For I am with you to save you and deliver you, says the Lord. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked and redeem you from the grasp of the ruthless. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. The Gospel of the Lord. 